Japanese children are given a very different version of history. Few of these students have ever heard of 731. Pupils are taught virtually nothing about the Second World War. Most teachers leave the subject out of class altogether, saying they don't have time to cover it. Many school textbooks present Japan as a liberator rather than invader, a victim, not an aggressor. If the Ministry of Education had their druthers, it would be an orchestrated collective amnesia. In terms of the textbook screening process, they have presided over a long-term whitewashing of Japan's past, particularly the shared past with Asia. I think there has been, in the past, a tendency to sweep the unpleasant history under the national tatami mat. This is the public face of Japanese denial, an ultra-nationalist group prowling the streets of Tokyo. There are more than 900 groups like this one. They're well organized and well connected, with ties to the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, or LDP. An increasing number of Japanese are questioning the country's past, but for the government, the issue is taboo. It remains captive to a nationalist constituency. It's not like in uh, France or in Germany or in Great Britain, where the ultra-nationalists basically are out of the mainstream political you know, debate. I mean, they are part of the mainstream. Japan's denial is extraordinary, but so is the overseas reaction. If the German government were to refuse to acknowledge the Holocaust, there'd be international outrage. When Tokyo does something similar with Unit 731, though, there's barely a murmur outside Asia. A hero in China, perhaps, but not back here in his homeland. Other members of 731 consider Shinazuka a traitor, brainwashed by the Chinese authorities. They still maintain their unit was a force for good and have no sympathy for the prisoners who were vivisected. Toshimi Mizubuchi used to teach 731's recruits. He now leads a comfortable life in Kobe and organizes the unit's annual reunion. When the war was lost, Mizubuchi was given the job of destroying the evidence, including leftover prisoners. <laughs> あの、普通の場合はパイプから空気を送ってるんですね。それをまあ、メタンガスに送風に切り替え、切り替えたようですね。はい。それでまあ、いわゆる窒息死させたわけですね。これは普通のことだよ。As many as 12,000 human guinea pigs died at Harbin. But from this member of Unit 731, there's no apology and no remorse. Japan has a selective and subjective approach to its military past. They say the victors write history, but that's not always true. 
Japan lost the war, but more than half a century on, is still manufacturing its own version of it, a fiction the United States has been happy to endorse. The Yasukuni Shrine honors the two and a half million Japanese who have died fighting for their country, including convicted war criminals. Each year, on the anniversary of Japan's defeat in World War II, thousands come to pay their respects. It's Anzac Day with attitude. As far as these people are concerned, Japan has nothing to apologize for. Kihachiro Shimizu is a professor at a respected university. He's convinced Unit 731 never existed. Everyone is a bad person. 